Hello everyone, my name is Jumat and for this video I want to talk a little about a rune called Presence of Mind. Presence of Mind states that for the next 7 seconds after gaining a level or a takedown, any mana you spend is fully restored. Now, I want to try this rune on Talia and see how it works. Normally, I'd go for Arcane Command, Mana Flow Band or the Ultimate Hat, Celerity Scorch, and for the secondary tree you can go for Precision, Triumph and Coup de Grace, or Domination for, uh, how you call it, Taste of Blood, Revenous Hunter, or even Inspiration if it's a hard assassin matchup or something, perfect timing and Cosmic Insight. But for, for today's test, I want to look over one or two games I'll see, and uh, talk a little about how presence of mind uh, works and uh, yeah normally triumph it's better but we're going to test it and see how it fares we might even think about how to go for other another items instead of the classic morello but we'll stick to morello for now and we'll see how we can use this rune now let's jump right into a game now So here we are in a game in which I play with Arcane Comet. Uh, I kind of love, I kind of love to play with that because I feel it's one of the strongest room for Tilia. Not because you miss your combo with WE, but because you can Q poke so easily with that rune and it's quite busted. I mean, I I play with it on Xerath also, and Eerie I play only on Oriana, which is kind of good for the shield, but uh, I hate the auto attacking in between Q's part, so I can fully proc Eri every time. So we'll just stick with Comet for now. I did a like there. Now, I play with two runes, Mana Flow Band and... Um, what's the name? Presence of Mind. There you go. And uh, both of these runes ensure that you will have 100% mana all the time. Well, mostly. <laughs> because... Look, I have full mana right now, I use a Q, my mana is full, I'll make level 2, I will use my Q and E, and just going to spam them, and so on. Now, the main trick for playing with Presence of Mind, besides losing the HP that uh, Triumph gives you, the main trick is to just go and push lane and move bot, now that would be the ideal strategy. Presence of Mind works well on Cassidy also, because, well, that's the main user. And uh, as I as you see here, I just bam, I just go into him and use my spells, and I'm full mana, and it's just it's just strong for me right now. Now there are cases in which triumph obviously is better than Prince of Mind. Um, in one game, I fought to Katarina, and I died to Ignite because after I killed her because I didn't have Triumph, but that's a small case, and if you want to play more roamy like me, to just roam, push bot, and you feel that mana is not enough for you, this rune is good for you. Now, let's see it in action, let's look how full is my mana bar right here, look how full it is and how it works, um, yeah. Now, all I'm trying here is to poke Corky and to hit him with my abilities and later on to roam. Now, Corky is basically a roaming matchup. He can roam as well as you if he gets his package. Now, without the package, he's kind of slow. A tip, never stay... Wait, let's back that shit up. I want to talk about this. Come on, fast. Never stay in range of a Talia that has flash when you don't have flash and you don't have even heal or whatever spell you have for defensive things. Don't stay under tower. She can just go here and here's another mistake that I did. I flashed thinking he would go in this direction but he juked. If you flash, just use it on his current position. Don't use it for a prede predetermined position because he can just juke you now. In this account, a, a pebble hit from my Q on him would have instantly dropped him to whatever HP, eight, 10 HP and an auto attack would have been enough. Now, I think he still has cooldown on his W here, but I will still get the kill here. 
uh, he didn't thought he didn't think he would die though I would not think either now I got I'm going to put it on fast forward a little because it's boring and latent and pointless and yeah I'm just farming right now going back I'm pinging the hell out of this Java not to die here but yeah he just does that and it's not a problem by the way this game is in Diamond 5 at flex at around 80 100 points. I'm playing just flex right now, but I will play as soon as the season starts in about a week and a half. I will start playing, uh, no, more than a week and a half. I will start playing solo queue and will do my small unranked to diamond and unranked to master. Now, also, you can notice here how good is uh, the arcane comment i've even missed my combo here but using e and q did like 25 percent hp damage now he has red buff and it's not not a good thing for me but we'll still figure um he should spam spells on me at this point i'm still not using e first but i'm getting a gank here with jarvan he escapes but I will move on him later on. I want to show you now the main thing with presence of mind, as I stated below before. <laughs> Whenever you level up, just spam the shit out of your skills if he's in range. Now, here I go and use my Q, but I don't use my E. I have for six seconds that, but I'm moving bot here because I notice an opening because there are Morgana and Xaya just just or out positioned and Nami gets the kill because the tower hits her and yeah I get hit by a Morgana Q and I go back to mid lane here. Whenever I get a level I try to use all my abilities on the opponent or to push. That's the point. That's the point of the rune. Else if you don't do this you pick the rune for no reason. And I'm getting a lot of mana I've had like three, four, three or four thousand mana uh, that was recovered by that rune just in the first 25 minutes or so, which is a lot. Like you have how much? 800, 900 mana and <laughs> that 4k mana spent recovered is a lot. Also with the mana flow band, you're basically having an infinite source of mana so you can spam your spells, shove the lane, roam bot. This, the tactic works. Look, look how I don't even you see. You didn't, I don't even waste it. And uh, this thing theoretically, uh, let me just slow that down. This thing theoretically allows us to move to more offensive items, like just to buy half of Morello. Now, at this point, I've probably bought Morello because it was still experiment. I was still experimenting. No, I didn't, but I will. But you can go just for lost chapter here and then move to another item because with this item and the two runes that offer mana, the mana flow band and the presence of mind, you will have enough mana to survive any lane phase and so on. Just, I'd say, buy this book, lost chapter, then move to either rely Landris or whatever item you prefer and then finish Morello. Or get another item and then finish more. And obviously, get boots in between also. But but let's just move on. Um, this build allows a little more item manipulation. Now, Morello is useful because it has the grievous one wounds item part that it's incorporated in any major mage that you know against assassins that heal a lot against uh, ADCs that heal a lot against Vladimir Soraka Sona and so on and Janna that this thing this thing works but uh, in a rest if you try Rod of Ages or GLP and you feel that your mana falls quickly let me just back mid uh, okay if you feel your mana falls quickly you can just go for the uh, presence of mind rune let me close this scoreboard. Okay, and let's move on with this game. Um, I notice here we have an infernal. Always go for infernals and keeping your jungler to do that. We're going to move 
faster a little, I poke a little on this Diana, and then show for the tower, and for a little roam if needed. There we go, moving, actually waiting here for Corky and then moving bot. And let me just notice here, he has package and I've ulted but I didn't notice him, but I didn't go full on him. He used his package into a wall, failed, panicked, and then I killed him. Um, I'm moving afterwards on bot lane. Uh, Eloy teleported. We have LeBlanc top in a Diamond 5 flex game. So yeah, that's something. And she didn't teleport, but we did win here. Normally that would have lost us, but they probably misplayed. Corky surely did. And also, the te teleport was too late probably to mean anything to kill anyone besides Jarvan or almost me. Let's move on. How do I close this? There you can see also the Arcane Comet, how useful I feel it is compared to Eerie. Yes, you can proc Eerie more often, but you can proc Comet from a distance more easily. From this point, look, you don't have to go to auto attack a Corky that his main source of damage is Qs and Sheen auto attacks. Now here, I don't know what was the point of that. Valkyrie is clearly not that experienced with Corky, but uh, but that's it. And we move forward to top lane right now. I think here Jarvan suicides, if I remember correctly, when I played this. I'd rather oh he didn't. I'd rather film like this instead of going for lives games because it makes me focus more now in a game for the solo queue. Uh, unranked to diamond or to challenger, whatever I want to reach, I'm going to uh, I'm going to make it like live play, not on Twitch or YouTube stream. But I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> not watching a replay, but watching their playing and commentating live the game. Uh, pushing mid right here and going right now for the corky, helping a little. I'm going to probably steal this kill, no I didn't. And then I'm going to wait here for the Morgana, that we have a vision on this ward. I don't really buy much vision wards, that's my fault on this. And I dodge the Q, always dodge the Q when you surprise a Morgana, you know that Q is coming. Then we move bot and also kill Xayah here, because she missed position and didn't think that Atulia could ult there and kill her. My teammates are already pinging me. <laughs> I didn't get any honors for this game, even though I kind of carried it and the enemy team was flaming everyone for letting Talia do this shit. But yeah, that's it. Moving fast forward, waiting here a bit. Uh, I, I think Vayne will die in this position soon because she gets caught or something. Or not. Yeah, the whole team comes in soon. We get another, and we don't kill her here because she has ult. Mm, but I get a little greedy, I wanted to go for it. Didn't have flash though, so... I still have no deaths, I think, at this point. Let me check the scoreboard. Yeah, I made zero, it's good. I went for the normal build, I'm really, really curious if some people could make GLP or raw build work. Here we kill uh, Diana too. And we move next, I'm 9-0 by this point, the game is basically over, if I wouldn't throw like a maniac, but I don't, so it's fine. Uh, a little poke on Corky, and I overextend way too much here, I need to go back. I'm going to super fast forward this, because I don't want to bore anyone if I didn't already. <laughs> and wait a minute, and let's go a little faster, we push for the tower, we take also Drake, I mean Jarvan takes it. Uh, and we just keep going on it. It's, I just do a little dive here on her, but she escapes because I'm dumb, and you get unnecessary damage from the tower, and then we move a little fast. Uh, here we used Herald in order to control the mid tower, and a quick recall, as you can see, even now, even after spawning all my abilities, the mana just stays full. Let's move a little faster. Back to mid lane, and then I'm going to help 
vein with Diana and Eloy, but she kind of handles it. Uh, go coming, using alt. There you go, blocking Eloy in the path, and destroying this word, and trying a WE, hitting Diana, killing her instantly, going for the Corky, and first Demogorgon, obviously, but then going for the Corky. Come on, hit him, I know you hit him. <laughs> Here, obviously, he's going to get a lot of stuns and damage. I mean, Vayne pushed him into the wall. And I'm going to do a nice flash Q on Morgana for the ace. Excellent, moving on. This game is quite long for this score that it's currently in place. I think I'm going to die soon because I didn't die yet, if I recall correctly. And here we're going to escape and dodge a lot of tentacles. And uh, yeah, and move here. By the way, if you didn't know already, you don't have to kill Tentacles anymore from Eloy because it won't remove that curse. Most people think you still have to kill the Tentacles yourself to remove the curse, but now the curse is shorter and you don't have to do that mini game anymore. Ulting mid lane, going for the Eloy. We got her here and she's going to die. I don't know why it stops so much. Okay. A little faster again. We're going to help again on bot lane. I'm going to get here if I recall correctly Morgana. And yep. Yeah. No, they they see me they've seen me before. Okay. Also a teleport from Eloy. But it's of no use because they don't really catch me here and kill another time Diana, but I fuck up here because instead of going towards the bot lane direction and kill Corky, I went straight into the alloy and died to the Corky. I'm dumb here. I fucked up and I didn't choose the right direction. Always look for the safe path, not for the hardcore path as I did here. Again, as I said, full mana all the time, using here alt to trap them and also to kill Morgana and to catch Diana. We ace them here and uh, we kill also Xaya and Eloy and also Corky dies from that. I get a double kill, then gets a triple kill and we move for the mid lane tower and inhibitor and yeah, we take it fast, no problem. Then we recall because there's nothing more to do here. Actually, we go for Barrow first and we take it real quick. There's absolutely no one to stop us. And only Diana comes but later and we still have a shit ton of time to do it and to recall no one actually dies and we escape. And LeBlanc also almost died but she escaped with her abilities. Then Vayne double kills Diana and Diana and Hilali. Uh, actually no, she gets caught. Here I catch Morgana out of position. I don't know why you stick to the wall here instead of simply running in other direction. You could just escape. You could escape easily there. Now I catch also Diana here. She, they both could have escaped. Why don't you stay behind minions against the Talia and why you stick to a tower when she can just damage you from the other side? You could just run around the map somewhere in the middle right here. I don't know. I don't know what's the deal of that. Most people don't really know how to play against Talia and that baffles me. Because it's so so simple to move, just like against Ezreal, just stay behind got them minions. It's not that complicated. She doesn't really have any damage, you know. Also, LeBlanc gets in, getting a kill here on Eli. We're going to move faster, we're going to take towers, we're going to destroy this inhibitor and also to kill some more people. And then we're going to finish the game. I think I will die somewhere around here because I fucked up as usual and I ruined my KDA because yeah, why not? Going to kill Corky here and I finished the game with the great score of 92-8. Well, that's about this game guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and uh, I, you should try that presence of my rune. I hope the video is not too long and see you next time guys. Goodbye.